How are you, my friend? It's been a long time. This is the first time I meet you in personal, and I'm honored today to write about you and chat with you. I'm very happy today, very excited. Thanks for accepting my effort today for Miss Contribute. I'm going to ask you today nine questions. We will speak about your journey in art and how you start, how to become a composer and more. Yes. Okay. So can I see you or just I see your helmet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, artistically, I um, I don't show my face very often. Oh, okay. Um, okay. It is very rare. It's, yeah. Uh, for a privacy, right? Sorry? Uh, for a privacy and you're a privacy person or don't like to show your face to other people? <laughs> yeah, yes, that's kind of... That's, kind of, <laughs> that's, that's your kind secret, you know, that's your secret, that's your style. <laughs> I know, I know. That. Okay, okay, that's your style. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is partly privacy. I heard um, I heard uh, somebody say one time that they didn't like being in front of people, so they made a helmet. That was Dead Mouse that said that. Um, I don't listen to his music, but I heard a couple of things that he said, and it, it made a lot of sense. So uh, whenever I uh, perform or whenever I'm... Um, shooting video or anything i always use the helmet and uh it's definitely become the brand yes it's a brand yes i like it <laughs> thank you okay should we start our interview yes okay okay my friend so music interview with my friend your name is michael right yes it's uh mako that's my Mako's first name Mike. okay nice name i like it <laughs> thank you Okay, question number one, my friend. How do you start making electronic music? How to become a composer? And uh, can you tell me about your journey in art and your turn? Yeah, as far as music goes, uh, I've always loved music. Um, since I was really young, I, I took to it. You know, it was it was something that was always close to me. I'd watch movies and and hear the score and 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 hear the music that was played and I, I really liked it. So it was always with me. I'd hear music and I always took it in, you know, it wasn't something that was just playing in the background. Um, I think what started me in music was I started to learn to play a couple, you know, a couple of instruments. I stuck with the guitar and I would write things. And it wasn't until I got my first synthesizer that I really started considering what electronic music could do in terms of expressing myself. You know, I think it was the DSS one Korg that I got, which is a super old synthesizer. And that thing is huge and heavy. And, um, that, that's kind of how I got started. I, I started, um, using it and, uh, kind of exploring and, um, it, it really got me to get interested in, in creating synthetic sounds and, and things like that it's a sampler actually i believe if i if i remember correctly yes so what's your first synthesizer you purchased? the first one would be that the uh, dss1 the korg um it was a sampler so i had a few discs that i used to use and these are the you know these are the older you know floppy discs or whatever they call them i don't remember um exactly it was so long ago <laughs> Um, it was it was very interesting. I had no idea that they made I had no idea what a synthesizer was at that point. I just actually went into a music store and it was and it really intrigued me. I saw it and I thought it was the the the, the strangest thing I had. No, I thought that the only way that people could write electronic music was, were with keyboards. And that was kind of my first uh, introduction into into uh, synthesized music. Wow. Okay, very nice. So, should we jump to second question? Yes. Okay. So, what made you want to become a musician? What made me want to become a musician? Yes. Um, I would say the desire to express myself. I'm a I'm a very emotional person, and I I do I do I I had written words here and there lyrics and and it didn't really quite work out for me i think that the best way that i could express myself was without words um yes. that really yeah once i started to really grasp what i could do in terms of music and exp self-expression um it really 
really distracted me from from lyrics and and things like that although i really respect that stuff for me i i enjoyed telling my story with 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 melody you know and and speaking with sound as i like to say and and you know and so it was it was a big thing for me to um have that freedom i can say a million things uh, in a song and and everybody's going to hear something different um everybody's going to see a different picture that i paint you know, in their minds I understand, from the song. I understand. I like your music style. I like your tone <laughs> Thank in you. music. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay. That's it, right? Should we jump to the third question? Yes. Okay. What inspires you and what makes you want to keep producing the music? Oh, that's a good question. Life. Life is very inspiring to me. Um, as of late, I've had a lot of very... Um, well, I've had a few difficult um, situations come up. And when that happens, I have a lot of fuel, a lot of inspiration, and it helps me write a lot of music. Um, I could have good seasons in life, and, and that will inspire me to write music or, or a change in life. But life is a very, very good source of inspiration for me. Um, There's so much that happens. And, you know, just like with, with the, uh, your earlier question, I'm, I'm such an emotional person that it drives me to, to create. It drives wow. me to write another song. Wow. I'm so excited. And yeah, it, it, it's very exciting because you, I, I don't think I've ever, well, I know I haven't, but sorry if you hear that plane. Okay, okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay my sorry. friend, it's okay, no, it's okay. Uh, but I, um, I, I, I do, sorry, getting back to that, I, I really do take my inspiration from life, the things that happen to me, the things that I see happen in other people. And since I, I'm not restricted to words, um, I can tell someone else a story, no one would ever know, um, because it's, it's the melody. And I think that's what... Um, That's that's what I what I prefer in my music versus energy or or versus um, different elements of music and and they're all very good but I I prefer melody as it as it kind of um, works really well with with my um, the the emotion that I write from the emotional area that I write from. A lot of information. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, well, so. Uh, another question: What kind of music gear you used? Your ears? Do, do I do I normally listen to? Is what kind of music do I normally listen to? No. What kind of music gear you used? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, um, okay, my friend. My my DAW is Logic Pro X. Logic so that's Pro. my MacBook yeah. MacBook user, you are MacBook user. Yes, yes. I, I've been using it for a few years. Um, I, I've really become comfortable with it. Now, of course, I, I do use a lot of, um, you know, a, a lot of VSTs, of course. I, um, in terms of physical gear, I don't have much uh, because I, I um, haven't gotten so much into the physical aspect, but rather I find it much easier for kind of a one-man show like myself, uh, somebody who is in charge of everything. I, I don't have a band. So especially with performances, this is very important for me. Yes. Um, so it's important for me to have control over everything. And so I use uh, a lot of, um, a lot of, you know, VST. So for example, I'm using a lot of the Arturia collection currently, and, and that has so many uh, reproductions from so many different iconic machines, you know, Right now, I've, I've used a lot in the new album coming up. I've used a lot of the, the Oberheim uh, reproduction that they have. Um, I'm using a lot of the, um, the Jupiter 8. I know they have a couple of reproductions, but the Jupiter 8 is something that I really like. Um, I really enjoy using that, uh, the Arturia version. Uh, they also have the CS80, which for a lot of pads, I've gone back to that, to the CS80. Um, but uh, there's... Um, Amazing there's a collection, lot amazing collection very very good collection i i really do like it i i um i've gotten so much amazing use out collection. of it arturia collection is the best i love it <laughs> i <Yes>. love it <laughs> wow wow amazing collection wow yeah that's okay 
Oh, right. sorry. You know, I, I forgot to mention also I do for my guitar. I do, I do have a Jackson uh, guitar and I've seen more Duncan pickups on it, which, um, which are, 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 are getting a, uh, which, which um, have a great sound. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. I think for live performances, I'm going to be um, slightly uh, changing a few things, hopefully in the future. And that'll include a lot more lights. Um, if I do, then I would be using the DMXs um, for that. I already have it, but I'm, I'm working on on that for a live for live performances having um lights really be a part of the the overall experience and and that should come hopefully in the future well you're you're a tall and amazing person and a lot of stuff you have thank you brother thank you well so okay another question um who's your favorite artist or person you look up in the industry Jeez, in music, ah, there's yes. so much that's good. There's, there's so much. Million, yeah. I think there's a million artists. <laughs> yeah, there's so much that's good. Um, I think I probably my favorite band right now, my favorite favorite thing to listen to right now would probably be Gunship. Um, mm -hmm. They were a they were a huge inspiration. Uh, Gunship. They have uh, their first album really was uh they knocked it out of the park with that thing and the second one they did a, a, st a stand-up job on that also and i know they're they're working on new stuff um i know that the um their their lead singer alex just uh, did a track with carpenter brute and that's um that's playing right now Widowmaker. but um i i do follow their stuff um i, I do like gunship a lot they're they are a big inspiration of course there's so much other good stuff out there um you know, but I would say that's probably, uh, at, you know, towards the top. My biggest inspiration overall with music, even yes. though I don't sound like them, would probably be Susie and the Banshees. Uh, between Susie and the Banshees and Depeche Mode, um, Susie and the Banshees was a big uh, inspiration for me growing up. I, I had quite a few of their albums. Um, I never got to see them live. I got to see a band that the singer Susie and, and the drummer had together, the creatures. I did see them in concert, um, but they were probably the longest and the biggest um, influence in me. Um, sorry, excuse me. Like the, the biggest inspiration for me musically. Um, great music for many, many, many years. Um, and then probably uh, not far behind them would be Depeche Mode, which had a, a very big influence because of uh, how much, um, how much you know how how well how much the synthesizer was a part of their music so since they they used so many synthesizers and um it it really was very inspiring especially as i start getting into creating electronic music um i'm starting to see myself become more and more inspired by them and and today looking back i would say that the biggest um influences would definitely be susie and the banshees followed by depeche mode and then uh, currently, I listen to a lot of gunships, so that kind of sums it up. Well, wow. <sighs> a lot of things. Yeah, a lot, a lot of really good music uh, there with of, those. A lot of things, yes. A lot of things, a lot of informations. Okay, another question for the time. And uh, are there any artists that you draw inspiration from if so, who and what sort of music? That's some strange question. Oh, that's all right. Um, I would say that um, I do draw inspiration from the from the synthwave genre and all the subgenres uh, because there there's a lot of new and fresh sound coming up, and I'd like to consider myself um, more in that in that uh, area versus um, something that's more traditional in, in synthwave, um, especially with the new album, there's going to be a lot more guitars. And I'm really, I'm really uh, trying to push what, if, if I could continue to be considered synthwave, uh, I'm really looking to continue to push that. Now, um, the question being, uh, you know, what artists do I draw inspiration from in that, of course, I would say, that yes, you know, gunship in, in that particular genre would would is I draw a lot of inspiration from them. Um, I do wow. also. Um, there is also another uh, artist friend of mine, David Patacone, which I should mention. I don't know if I pronounced his last name correctly, but he's actually a, a very well, uh, very talented uh, producer. 
and um, musician himself. And he's actually um, inspired me because the refinement that his music has is, is very, um, it's, it, it's very top quality. And so um, I definitely have to give him a shout out for that. Um, other, other musicians that I can draw inspiration from would be maybe Dance with the Dead. Um, the, the things that I, that I do, the inspirations that I get from some of these bands, um, I, 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 my music is really doesn't sound like any of them, but um, some aspects, uh, you know, guitar wise, for example, with Dance of the Dead really mixes in really well with what they do. I, I know they consider themselves electronic rock, um, but um, there's a lot of things that they do really, really well. Um, so I, I would draw inspiration from them. I, I would also draw inspiration, uh, speaking of guitars, from two friends of mine. Uh, one would be Elevate the Sky. Uh, and Scott, who is Elevate the Sky, is, is, a, is, a, is an extremely, extremely talented uh, musician uh, and guitar player. And uh, he would be someone to, um, he's, he's getting ready to release new music. Uh, so Elevate the Sky, I do draw inspiration from him. And while we don't sound the same, uh, since I know him personally, I think it is inspiring to watch him as he goes in life and, and, and how he writes. Um, Another friend, uh, and for his for his guitar prowess, another friend that I would that I also draw inspiration from is is the problem of time. Uh, th this is a man that uh, that can play a guitar, um, you know, similar to Elevate the Sky in a way that um, I really haven't seen very many people um, be able to do. They're they're just uh, you know, especially uh, the problem of time, just extremely extremely talented. Um, and uh, and great inspiration because I can always look at that when I'm looking to write my guitar parts or or mix them or craft them to sound the way I want them to sound. So you are a various artist, right? Like many, so many, yes. You like so many things. Yes, I can hear it from you. Yes. So do you like ambient music, psychedelic, down tempo, noise, electronic ambient? Do you like to listen to them to this kind of genre? I've heard some here and there, and um, yes, the answer would be yes. Now, I'm not too familiar, but one of the things that I really do enjoy is is the synthetic aspect of those types of music. I know you like synth wave, bridge wave, synth pop, guitar synth, or I don't know, just like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, I hear your music, yeah. your style, very unique. That's some oh, futuristic with the future futuristic car and colors and a lot of things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I love it. Yeah. I love it <laughs> so you. much. Thank you. That's your shoot when you sit and uh, with your uh, helmet. That's a futuristic shoot. I remember it. You take it from long time. Yes. You know, Omar, actually, the helmet that you see here is this I is like the it. first time. <laughs> I this like is it. the first time. That's this helmet amazing style. seen like this. Amazing style. I love it. Your helmet, Thank your, you. your stand, and your looking, and that's Thank some you. charisma thing, so <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Yes. Th this helmet, I, I did some updates to it. So this is the first time um that it's being seen, which it, it is kind of intentional. It is a little bit dark, but um uh, there was some upgrades done to it, and and um, soon enough it'll be seen in the light. And and um, of course, minor minor adjustments, but uh, all for the better. It's custom made. A friend of mine who is a, an, a special effects artist uh, kind of uh, sat down with me, and and we kind of ironed it out as to what we wanted it to look like. So there, are, uh, yeah, it is it is a one of a kind. It's one of one, and. Um, it's probably going to remain that way as long as uh, this friend of mine doesn't re <laughs> remake it. <laughs> I don't think he will. That was kind of the agreement. So okay. I think we're okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Very interesting person. <laughs> Thank you. Um, another question. What is your creative process like? Your creative process. My creative process, uh, it can vary. Sometimes I, I like to start with, um, with percussion and sometimes I, I start with, um, with melody. 
Um, what happens uh, throughout my creative process is sometimes uh, one may not work. And so I jump to the other one and I, I start um, uh, looking for a, for a, a combination or a chain of chords, something that will, that will um, kind of draw me out. And, and it, it's funny because a lot of the music really writes itself. I feel, I feel sometimes that I, I start writing something and little by little, it starts piecing itself together. And it's almost as if I'm not a part of it. <laughs> you know? It's almost as if I'm not uh, me myself. I'm not um, writing it, but it's, it's, it's writing itself. It's coming together. And so that may happen with percussion. It has before, um, you know, and, and as I hear it come together, it, it begins to really motivate me. And, and, and I start seeing, you know, different uh, possibilities with, with what's happening. There is a song, for example, on my new album that's called Power Machine. And the song originated with, with the beat um, and, and a vocoder. And so as I'm writing it, it's, it's starting to give me ideas. And, and I start adding those ideas in there, putting them together little by little. And I would, so I would say that that's kind of how it comes together for me. Um, I, I, I have to... I, I will say this, I have to feel it. I have to feel that, um, that it is something that I truly like and I truly enjoy for me to continue working on that track. Wow. Well, okay, another question, because uh, mm -hmm. maybe another question, I will ask you another question. Yes. Okay. So what's the process you go through in finding the perfect tone? Do you study with courses? Learn online or just experiment? I would say experimentation. Um, I've, I've, I, I've heard a few musicians say that um, um, experimenting is the best way to discover. That I, I know that, that, that a lot of musicians are different, but I myself do uh, really enjoy um, kind of an exploration of sorts when I when I begin writing or if I'm working on a on a sound that I like and I'm fine tuning it or creating a sound, um, I I really think that um, that experimenting is a big part of that because sometimes I I'm really not too sure what I'm doing. I may there there is a pad that I used on another song that's upcoming on my album, um, and it's my favorite pad of all time. I've never uh, used it before. Um, I haven't, I, I don't use it again on the album, but it, it is a spectacular sounding pad. And, and I did a few things um, to really get it to sound like it does. And that was kind of a little bit by chance. You know, there was a preset in one of the, one of the machines that I was using and I, and I grew it into what it is on that song. And it, it really sounds amazing. Um, but uh, yes, to answer your question, it was, uh, it was just experimenting with, with the- A lot of experiment, a lot of things. Experiment with the music, experiment with art, and that's yes. it. Take yes. a lot of time, take a lot of journey, working, uh, watching uh, more courses online, and a lot of things. Just like yeah. other, other musicians. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. I know I, I have a lot of friends, obviously, you know, that are musicians and they do very similar. Um, some of them do very have very similar techniques with experimentation, but some of them um, that seem to be um, that have different processes for this. Um, some of them do have, uh, you know, a routine that they'll run through or um you know, they'll try different things than me. And, and so uh, it really varies from, from person to person. So your, your music comes from your experiment, right? Yes, a lot of experimentation, yes. I get kind of lucky yes. sometimes. <laughs> yes, yes. And so <laughs> is Mac is good for music production or laptop? What do you think? Or, well, I, 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 use my, mm -hmm, I use my MacBook Pro um, to um run logic pro x and i i used it i i got it because i wanted to be able to you know perform with it as well and and so i really enjoy um uh, using the macbook because i i use it as my main computer and i also use it as my um as for my music production uh, live. For live performance and yes 
Mm -hmm. No lag, no freeze, nothing. I don't have any. I've never had an issue with it running logic. Very, oh. very, very few problems. Um, and so I, I really enjoy that combination of, of the Mac and logic. Just Mac and Logic Pro. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, so okay. I'm going to ask you a last question. Uh, okay. What's your main inspiration? Um, I would have to say that um, probably on, uh, I would say on this album, it would be grief. Uh, it would be sorrow. And the reason I say that is because um, it was a very difficult album for me to write. It's, it's, it's by far my best work, uh, by far my best work. Nothing gets close to it. It's, it's very, very above and beyond anything I've ever done. But it was a hard album to write because I experienced uh, much tribulation while writing it. It, uh, it changed me as a person. It changed me as a musician. But I'm a better musician because of it. And I've written better music because of it. And uh, there's so many uh, positive uh, outcomes from that. So I'm really, not, uh, I'm really not too sad about it. You know, I'm not really... Um, I don't really worry about it too much. I know it was for, for a time that, uh, you know, I was going to experience this tribulation. And so um, that was the main inspiration for the album. And I'm going to reveal for the first time officially what the name of the album is here with you also. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the name of the new album is called The Depression Discotheque. The Depression Discotheque. Yeah. Interesting name. I will check it. I'm very excited. <laughs> okay. Wow. Me too. Thank you. Of course. Anyway, thank you for everything, my friend. It will be honored today to meet you, chat with you on personal. And I'm very happy today. Today will be a great conversation with you, my friend. Great to from Iraq. Much love and respect to you, my friend. I'm looking forward to see you in the future with another live music interview. Maybe live music together. Future. I'm looking forward. To make with you our music together in the future of course excellent well omar thank you so much my friend for having me and taking the time to talk to me um much love and respect to you from what pretty much is los angeles here and and um i'm really much glad love that you respect out. my friend to you it's honored to me to thank meet you, you to write about you and the music interview series is very important to me to communicate with the artists around the world to write about them you know their yes. type of music and a lot of things it's just like a long journey yes with me and art i'm very happy today well first time i meet you in personal and i will share share this uh, video on my youtube channel and see you around excellent thank you my friend thank you brother i appreciate everything thank you so much for having me love it you, was my, my pleasure love you my friend it's thank great you honor. thank you to me, to have you in my music interview. Thank Sierra. you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay.